Hi everyone, Mr. Mayor here. In this video, we will prove triangle congruence. By the end of the video, you want to be able to say, I can use a two column proof to prove two triangles congruent by the SSS congruence postulate. Let's look at one example. Our job is to use a two column proof to prove the following. We're given these pieces of information. We need to prove that this is true. Now, again, let's make sure we understand. Anytime we're given information, this is where we want to start our proof. And we want to prove something, this is where I end it. This is the answer. This is what I'm trying to work my way towards. So what I'm going to always start with is the information that's provided. Now, as I write something in the table, in the proof table, make sure that you are marking your diagram as well. So first things first. I'm given that QT is congruent to SR. So therefore, that is going to be the first thing I put in my table. How did I know that? Well, this was given information. So number one, it is given to me. Again, don't forget, once I've written it in my table, I'm going to mark up my diagram. So side QT is going to be congruent to side SR, and we mark sides congruent by putting one dash. Next thing, I was given another piece of information. And again, same exact process. RQ is congruent to TS. And number two, again, that is because that was given. So now I'm going to come into the diagram and I'm going to mark RQ, but I already have used one dash. So I'm going to use a different amount. This time I'll use two dashes to match it with TS. That is a corresponding side. So therefore, I have all of the given information in my table. So let's put it this way. This lesson in this content block, we are learning about side, side, side congruence. Once I have side, side, side congruence, then I know that my two triangles are going to be congruent to each other. So right now I have one pair of sides, I have two pair of sides, but I don't have three pair of sides. Now, some people get confused. They say, I see a rectangle, I see a couple triangles. How does this work? So it's always very helpful to separate your diagram. So here's my first triangle. It is triangle QRS. And my second triangle, I'm going to draw it separately. That's the one underneath. And again, this, this point is still point Q. This corner is T and this corner is S. So we already know that this is congruent to the bottom side. The left side is congruent to the right side. And let's look. If I notice between my two triangles, I see that QS is the same in both triangles. So there, this side has a QS, this side has a QS. They both start and end at the exact same point. So what that means is that this side has to be congruent to itself between the two triangles. That means I can go ahead and mark this in between the two triangles. Now I'm going to mark this a little bit differently. I'm going to label it a little differently in my table because I see QS is congruent to SQ. Keep that in mind. I start with my Q and finish with my S. So I'm starting from here to here and I'm going to go backwards. If you did it another way, if you said QS equal is congruent to itself, that's fine. But we would change the reason over here. Anytime I have a side congruent to itself, but with the letters flipped, this is called the symmetric property of congruence. Now make sure you understand it's congruence because I have a congruent symbol here. If this was an equal sign, then I would be of equality. Anytime I'm talking about sides in a two column proof though, I want to make sure that I'm using a congruent symbol. Now I have, let's make sure we understand, I have a side here congruent to itself, side here, and a third pair of sides. I have side, side, side. This is true for both triangles side, 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 that is one of my congruence postulates that we just learned. Since I have side, side, side congruence postulate, what I now know is that my two triangles are congruent. Triangle QTS is congruent to triangle SRQ. All right, so at this point we are finished. We've done everything that the directions have asked and we're good to go. Thank you guys for tuning in. See you in the next video.